Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Flora Sky. In the last episode we got our final gym badge at the Surance City Gym and now we're back here in Tezoro City ready to take on and sort of head towards Victory Road, see what we want to do um, with regards to our team and stuff like that. So, now, uh, something I did in the meantime is that I did buy a bunch of... I got a bunch of... Um, Hyper potions and max repels because I feel like we're gonna be going around a lot of the air, a lot of the region pretty soon because um, we need to find a load of things that we uh, haven't yet. So um, and there's lots of various items and various um, uh, lots of various TMs and stuff like that that we uh, have yet to find. But anyway, we can use the super potion, um, the secret potion, sorry, to uh, move these Azuril out of our way. And now we can start heading towards, uh, around this area, towards, I guess, what is the last, as we say, Thunderstone. Actually, something I should do, I don't know whether I, let me just check something. Yeah, so something I'm just quickly going to do. Back into Zoro City, there was a guy who wanted us, who wanted five wood mail, I think. So let's, I think it's him. Do you want to exchange five wood mail for my TM? Yes. So we get TM20, which is um, safeguard. Okay. Prevent status abnormality with a mystic power. So yeah, that's something else I wanted to do. But anyway, so uh, I think that sorts out all of the trading mail for various items, which is good. We now want to head north past um, this gap, and we want to see what's right for us. Uh, what's next for us? So, my team is here, and something I do want to do is I want to uh, level up my team pretty evenly now. So, um, we'll keep Waylord up front. We want to get everyone up to about 51. As we see, again, more Volpix. So. When you're as famished as I am, there is no room for pity, says Kindler Hayden, who sends out a Magma. So, a nice, uh, a nice Pokemon for our Waylord to see. What's about is going to destroy him. My stomach is grumbling. Maybe I can grill some berries. And so we'll grab some Nana berries here. And then start, uh, continue to move onwards. This is my favourite kind of Pokemon, says Campler Tyron has, has a Whimsicott. So uh, we'll go into our Rapidash. Goes with the Giga Drain. Get an Ember here. That does a load of damage. We get the Burn. Burn is going to take you out. Lovely. When I'm having a battle, I get a kick out of showing off my Pokemon. I bet everyone feels that way when they enter a battle. So obviously a lot of these Pokemon are just uh, are very weak. Because um, we've already been around this area for wild Pokemon. There's another item. So anyway, we'll just uh, zip through these. There we go, what do we want? A Max Repel! Something I might actually apply. Yeah, let's apply it. Why not? Um, so yeah, so it looks like we've got another. Uh, we got a double battle just to here. Um, so yeah, that works. You, we've always battled Pokemon together as a twosome. We've confidence in ourselves. So brothers John and Jay have Magma and Electabuzz. So we will um, what is that again? And we will Ember the Electabuzz. So what of Spat is going to come in, take out that magma in one hit, and do a really good amount of damage to the uh, Electabuzz. We can now just simply surf. And of course we get double power, and I shouldn't have stayed in. Ugh, sorry Waylord, that was my fault. So we defeat John and Jay, young trainer, if the chance arises will you battle with us again? Come to think of it, I've yet to beat my young brother in a battle. So yeah, uh, that was a bit of a mistake, but anyway. For a guy's match with me, this kind of Pokemon is the perfect match, says guitarist Elijah, who has a Minchino. I can't work out if that's meant to be kind of sarcastic. As Rapidash wants to learn Bounce, and we will learn Bounce, because it is actually um, a physical move, and Rapidash doesn't have a bad physical attack. Um, Really. So we'll go into our slacking on the Luxray. Intimidate is going to cut my attack, which is kind of annoying. But strength is a two-hit KO. 
Come on. Oh, really? There we go. Lovely. Well done, Mr. For a guy as mature as me, a port is the perfect setting. I guess I'll head for Tesoro, which is just a little bit south of here. So, we'll start heading this way. We've got another trainer. If it's... Uh... So, the sunlight seems to be harsh. More harsh in this area. It's difficult to tell, because obviously we're at night time. But anyway, so Floatzel comes in. And uh, let's... That's Psychic. Whirlpool. Psychic once more. Lovely. I should go back soon. I need to reapply my sunscreen. So, here is the Pokemon League. It's actually... Zin. And we need Waterfall. Interesting. So, obviously, I, we haven't actually yet found Waterfall. So, where on earth is Waterfall? I'm pretty sure we don't have Waterfall. No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like we're going to need to do some exploration because I do not know where Waterfall is and um, we really need to find it. So our repel is going to wear off, obviously. Um, so let's go for a nice little tour around the... Um, we're going to have to do a tour. Essentially, we're going to do a tour around the region. So rather than... Uh, let's uh, deposit in our dust box and withdraw out the marrow that we have. And obviously we only have um, four Pokemon now, but to be honest we shouldn't really be uh, needing that many. So now, uh, let us quickly grab put on another match repel and essentially we're just going to look for some areas any areas um, that we haven't actually been able to access before because of not having the right TMs not having uh, this not having that etc so we re-enter route J interesting the little light and the fact that the footsteps sort of glow in the dark so one thing we can do, I think, is we should be able to come around here. What did you say? When you're this far away from the city, this night sky at night is fantastic. So something we can do, we can head over here. And come into this area. So where on earth are we? Okay, it's just a empty room. That's not too interesting. As we find a pearl. Okay, so uh, that was all towards the Hippowdon Temple, which we've already done and we already saw and all that sort of stuff. Um, we've already done most of the battles along here on Route P. We can surf now, so let's see if there's anything surfing. Or whether it's just a shortcut across this route. Anyway, Fernando talks to us. Come on, it's got to be a reason. Nope. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. I'm pretty sure we've already battled, like, we've already spoken to you. Yeah. Okay, so, nothing along here. So, we've reached Habu Test. Where are we, Pokemon wise Um... The map. Okay, so we're just going to head... So we've currently had done that. We'll probably end up heading... I mean, the Puglia route isn't really particularly vital because obviously we were around that relatively recently. Have we ever done route... Yeah, we did do route AA. And then route Z. I, mean, I can always fly to various places. Is the thing. I think I think a biggest thing, it might well be like surfing areas that we weren't able to access before. Stuff like that. Or maybe any dive areas that we weren't able to access before. Because I'm pretty sure we saw some dive areas that we haven't actually 
into again. Maybe um, the uh, the um, that underwater that ship, the sunken ship. It's a bit annoying that they haven't really given me any indication as to where it could be. Like normally, you know, I, I don't mind. Like if they tell you, like you know, oh, it's on route N or route P or whatever, and then you've just got to search the route for it. That's fine. But this seems a bit um, counterintuitive. Just asking your players to just search and search and search. Oh yeah, because we, you know, we can't actually explore this place because of that guy. And there are a few areas like that where you, we can't actually go any further because of various people blocking our way or whatever. So maybe it's um maybe it's a thing that you have to um, beat in the Elite Four in order to get access to it. So any any dive areas? No. Okay. I am going to head, uh, we're going to continue heading um, east, it would be, I guess. Um, I'm going to continue heading east. I know uh, I just said that we don't really need to do the Puglia route, but there is something um, along the beaches that is rather actually important for us, as there is uh, Mirage Island. Really, as soon as it finishes... Because if we head to Route AC, which is this one, and we head to the beach. Actually, it's a big dive area here. Have we been down here before? Another sort of little podium area. A special what? What did I find? I'm sure I just found something. What did I find? I'll have to look back at that and work out what on earth it was. Yeah, I have nothing else that says special, so I don't know what that was. Interesting. Still, a little sort of raised podium area that currently doesn't hold anything, so something else to look for. I'm assuming that's the whole of this dive area, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Anyway, um, one of the reasons I wanted to be here is because um, I looked um, I looked at some of the um, walkthroughs of this area. Not not like the actual walkthroughs, but I was looking for heart scales because we haven't seen any love disc. And as far as I could tell, love disc was actually removed from the game's programming, as in um, one of the Gen 4, Gen 5 Pokemon that's been added to the game took the place of love disc. And I was like, okay, so how do I get heart scales? And so what you need to do is um, around this route, there are three you can find. So um, if you want to really use the move relearner, you could only have three chances to do so. Um, which is a bit harsh, but, um, you know, just how the, the game works. And essentially what you do is you just get your item finder, and there is one of them. There's one on this island here. There's another one just around here, I think. Just there. And I'm sure there's another one, but I don't know where it is. I've never found it yet. And there it is. Okay, so those are the three heart scales. So there's one just here, there's one on the beach, and there's one on that other island. And, um, yeah, the only reason I wanted to show them then, sh show you guys then, is because, obviously, heart scales are the only way you can use the move relearner. And we will be using the move relearner, because um, we want our... Uh, we want our Gallade in particular to learn something new. 
Anyway, we're going to fly to Hota Sea to see because I want to... Um, one thing we need to do is heal. Apologies for the loud laptop again, but that's what happens when um, we end up fast forwarding lots, through lots of battles. But anyway, I want to head over to Route AA and then uh, head down that way. Because it does lead to Osapak Town, which is good, because Osapak Town is where the move relearner is, and we can actually uh, relearn our first move as we see Wild Gulpin. So this is Route. Ah, yeah, okay, now I remember where we are. So this is Route AA. There's another waterfall here, isn't there, if I remember correctly. Okay, so now if we just go back and get a max repel. Is there a dive route at the end of here? There was only one little side route that had a dive spot, I seem to remember. Anyway. So there's the waterfall that um, we could climb once we have access to the waterfall. Oops. So yeah, we're just zipping through this as fast as possible just to work out where on earth... I'm assuming it's got to be dive spots because they're the only other things that we really haven't done yet. So anyway, uh, move relearner is here. And the Pokemon that we want to relearn a move is essentially... Um, we're going to get our Gallade to learn Leaf Blade, because I think Leaf Blade is actually a decent move to have on our Gallade. Um, because we can't really get a decent Grass-type move outside of... Um, outside of... Ninjas learning Giga Drain, and Ninjas does not have the best um, special. And I mean, obviously... Um, Gallade doesn't have the best special either, but at least we have Carmine, so we have the option of trying to boost that special if we wanted to. So anyway, let's continue on our search for dive spots. Okay, so nothing around there. Is there anything in fuel? You, we've never actually we never actually fought you. So we got a swimmer here with a chin chow. Um, we might as well just stay in. Wait, Lord Gross level fifty. Nice. I wouldn't lose in a swim race. He said. I'm assuming we've never actually been down this route, so this will also be a trainer we never fought. Yeah, so we've got Tuba Simon with a slow bro, so let's go to uh, let's just use Gallade. We have this leaf blade. If one of my Pokemon knew the move for carrying me across water on its back, I could get rid of this mm, tube. And another one! Sorry, I uh, not noticed all of these trainers. Anyway, Jellicent. Uh, headbutt does not affect you, obviously. Really? You're just going to recover off? Come on, do more damage. There we go, we get the crits. That I believe Leaf, Leaf Blade should be an, uh, an advanced crit move. Increased crit, crit, uh, increased crit ratio move. So, anyway, um, I mean, we can head over this way. That just takes us to Puel. Um, hmm. So, I guess Malias is a good place to head to. So, we've done all of that. We should go at Route Q, and we've got Route U. But Route U is the location, we've already searched Route U before, and we've just done T and we've done AA. So yeah, Malias is really where we need to head. Uh, so let's fly to Malias City. I don't really remember being in Malias. 
Okay, so now that we're here, let us see what there is. So, bag, max spell. So, root R. Is there any... So this is where Shoal K was. Is this actually at the right level for us? I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were surfing last time, so we should actually be able to get um, the Shoal Salt this time around. And whatever uh, items are around here, being an ice heal. You usually find the never melt. You might find a never melt ice around here. Is that right? I still want to use the repels. Nothing there. Down. Another. So we get a focus band. Strength. Interest. Was this always here? I think it was here. I might be wrong. I think it was. Um, oops. So we want to head to there, to there. To there, and up. Round and up. We might actually want to just, uh, yeah, there's the never melt ice. So we might want to relax our uh, repels just in this area because of, uh, we haven't actually been here before, so there might actually be some stuff, some new. Okay, so we actually want to. Um, hmm. Do that. So we get tail as well as our uh, TM. So let's just uh, take off the repel and let's see what else is around here. Are there any wild Pokemon? So we see wild Sveal. Obviously, we've already encountered uh, Sveal, and um, like I, I don't expect anything new, but you never know. Golbat. Uh, swine up. There you go. There's something new. Um, oh man, I was hoping it would endure. That's what most swine up I've seen usually do. So let's just encounter another swine up. Really? Oh, that time you do endure. Really? There you go. Well done. We catch ourselves a swine herb! Lovely, the pig Pokemon. So now we can leave. Uh, we want to max repel. That was this strength route. Uh, that was where we came from. More shoal salt. And more shoal salt. Is that all four? Do we have four? Yes, we do. Good. So now we just need to exit this area, which I believe is down this way. There's the dude. We talk to you. He, gave, he gives us a shell bell. So that is that little section of route R done. Now let's see. Um, it's always good to do something different. Anyway, uh, Max Repel. Let us see if there is another dive spot around here. It should be. It doesn't look like there is. I don't know where we can go then. Surely, I mean, the dive spots is only really what I can think of because we definitely did miss. There were definitely dive spots that we couldn't access um, before. There's one. Ooh. Yes, we do want to dive. Okay, so. Is there anything important down here? Please let there be so. Not down here, but this is an extended dive area. So that is a good sign. That tells us that there is actually um, 
there are dive spots on this route. We just need to find the right one. There's another one. There's a... Okay, so this is us popping up, potentially, on the other side. Yes, okay, so... Firestone! Interesting place for a Firestone. I'm not going to apply the Repel just to see if there's anything new in terms of underwater Pokemon. You never know. Is this another new area? It is. There's nothing new here. What is the point? You have to wonder about this sort of area where there's like literally nothing. Oh well. <laughs> okay, well, we found some new, some new dive spots. That is true. You know, so I did what I set out to do. But still, no sign of waterfall. Is this somewhat different? It is. As is this. Ooh, no. Nope. So, we've got another path. So, we've got uh, a surface spot there, we've got a surface spot there. And they're both just around this route. This is a good route to be on, it looks like. It looks like there should actually be something around here. We just need to find it. Here's another surface. Anything new? No, it's more Chinchow. Hmm. Huh. More Clampel. I mean, obviously, you know, there might be something like Relicanth or something along those lines. No, it looks just like... Ah, this is really annoying. I'm sure it'd be around here. Okay, so we've got uh, the double battle that we haven't actually done yet. Uh, let us... Headbutt the Marrow and Leaf Blade the Quagsire. Galadrius level 50! And we get the flinch that I was hoping for. Leaf Blade comes through, Headbutt, and then there's the Azumarill as well. You know how Pacific Log... Okay, yeah, so their, um, their text obviously hasn't been changed because the Pacific Log obviously doesn't exist. We find a Water Stone. So, essentially, this is a route for various um, elemental stones. That's good to know, but not what we're looking for, unfortunately. I'm assuming there would be something if we used the Item Finder there. Not that I can really be bothered to do so. Um, oh, this is so frustrating. The Pulse effects wore off. Again, Finion. Can't work out whether, you know, and the annoying thing about these sort of ones is that I, I can never tell whether I've already been in, you know. I've... Okay. guy down there we can actually access. I'm not going to lose to some surfer trainer. It says Traveller Isel, who has a Huntail. Headbutt flinches work really well sometimes. You can find pretty coloured shards around here. Interesting. Um, so if we drop or if we give that to, say... So we get King's Rock. Did he actually give it to us or not? Oh, he did actually give it to us because our bag was full. That kind of sucks. Okay, anything around here? We haven't been in this area. That one, which I think led to some more. Yeah, that led to these two up here. So there's a vast underwater system on in Route S. It's just actually finding 
potentially finding the right one. I think we've already been this one. Where's my max repels? I'm running out of max repels. I bought like 20. <laughs> um, the issue is I don't even know what I'm looking for. Like, it could be an underwater cave. It could be... I just need somewhere new to go, essentially. Interesting. Have we been here before? Nothing there. Nothing there. There's another surface spot. I don't know if we have been here before, is the thing. Uh, if we arrive up here, route S. Another item. Probably a, le a sunstone, a, a leaf stone, thunderstone, that's what I was going to say. Some sort of elemental stone. So that was this one, which started off down here. And you can see all of the areas that they're talking about, because they're all, um, sort of... I have a feeling like I've been in most of these now. Been through most of these underwater parts. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, let's fly back to Malias. Because I'm really stuck now, because I really don't know what's going on, unless... Unless it's... Unless it's west of Malias, which I'm not even sure we've even been to, but unless it's west of Malias, I really don't know where it could be. And at the moment, I don't actually know how you get west of Malias. So, let's just heal. Apologies for this episode, but, um, yeah, like, you know, it's just not particularly clear. Um, unless I missed it. Unless it was, like, you know, in... Okay, there's a, there's a dive spot. That's a good little sign. Uh, yes, yes, maybe this, maybe this. This was the route that actually was a dead end except for dive spots. So that's got to be a good sign. Surely it's a good sign. So we'll zip through this underwater. Anything new? Anything different? We've got another surface. We've got... Because, I mean, I, I can always look it up, because um, there is actually a walkthrough online as to uh, how you actually get through this. But um, I'd love to just work it out. I, I have, I'm pretty sure this has got to be it, surely. Let's again apply a match repel. So we've got this sort of spiral um, to these this these pair. Sigh. Here I am in the sea, but who's with me, my little brother? Let's battle so I won't have to dwell on that. Says Sis and Bro, Leela and Roy, the Clampel and a Clamp. So uh, let's again hit up the Chinchow and Leaf Blade the Clampel. Bye. Getting a nice amount of damage on all of these guys. Good. Will you battle us again, but next time take it easy? My big sister is really scary when she gets angry, that's why she doesn't have a boyfriend. If it only wasn't my little brother next to me, but a nice boyfriend. Okay, so let us make his way back round. I reckon this, is, this isn't a bad place to be, I would say. I reckon at least... I mean, we are finding new areas, is the nice thing. They're just are not necessarily what we're, you know, exactly what we're looking for. But here we are, Route O. We have an item. Carbos. Not what I wanted. You. How? I contemplate 20 Pokemon 24 hours a day. How could you possibly beat me? Says Black Belt Keo with a Lucario. Then you will spout. Goodbye. 
Okay, so now let's uh, get Slacking up front. It's the only Pokemon, um, I believe, that isn't level 50. I'm so going to run out of... So we've got another Sailor here. So we've got a Pelipper. Strength. They are significant levels below us. So um, I'm assuming what's... Yeah, these are sort of trainers that you would do you're expected to have uh, battled when you first got dive, potentially. Go away. But this is looking like... I don't want to say promising, because I know that's going to just ensure that it doesn't work. But anyway. Seeking! We can strength you. Goodbye. No, it's it. Ah, oh, I got so. I was so looking forward to that working, and it hasn't. Unless one of these boats. Can we make it on these boats? No. Can we do anything up there? No. So unless I just missed waterfall. Which is always an option, you know, always a possibility. I'm not going to say that I've, you know, perfectly made it through all of this without missing anything. So, I guess we'll have to, um, I think what I'll probably do is I'll actually have to, uh, I'll have to consult the, um, the Bible on this. And, uh, well, not, you know what I mean. Consult the game Bible. Find out online uh, what on earth's going on and, uh. Use that. I'm just going to check one other, there's one other route I want to check. The end of Route O. I'm going to say that there there is definitely a uh, a path off the end of Route O, and I want to find that and use it and just see if it takes me anywhere different. So this is uh, the one we first went down, which is located here. But there is also a route up here, which leads to a dive spot. I'm almost certain it does. No, actually it doesn't. Damn. I thought that led to a dive spot. Well, that is all of my uh, options exhausted, I'm afraid. Um, I mean, the only other route... Okay, fine. Um, just to finish off the routes, let's go... Route Q. Route Q is the only route that we actually haven't searched yet, because I'm sure I did. Route U was for the actual storyline sub uh, underwater base. We have already we did route N and M. We've done route V. We did uh, AC. We did route Q. So yeah, it only makes sense just to finish this off. And uh, actually, uh, we'll just quickly fly to. Let's fly to Charpos. Buy some repels. These so max repels. Yeah. You can see we have so much money. I mean, what I will probably do is um, it looks to me like Rapidash is not going to learn any um, any more powerful fire type moves. So I might actually have to buy Fire Blast, and similarly, I might buy uh, Blizzard because I don't think we're going to be able to get Ice Beam. So um, you know. It's a good thing that we have lots of money, because I think I will need to be buying some... Actually, is there anything round there? We can surf around to here. Was there an underwater cave this side? Or a cave that... There was definitely a cave. You. Lost cave. Was this just empty? It was just empty. All of these empty areas, I, I think, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they'll be used later on in, um, like, uh, essentially legendary encounters or, you know, legendary events. But, um, for the moment, they're just a little frustrating just to sort of walk into this, you know, just think you found a new area. Uh, I don't want to get excited, but it's a dive spot that we haven't done yet. And there is the car up here. Anything? Anything. I'm stuck. Be waterfall, be waterfall. Please be waterfall. 
Wild Carvana. We've never caught a Carvana, really. Wow. Um. Don't ask me why I did it like that, but anyway. There we go, we catch ourselves a Kovanha, just to uh, add. So we get the Savage Pokemon. For some, yeah, it looks like the um, edges of the arena are quite set there, as we find another Carvos. Uh, I thought we had it. I thought we had it. Evidently I was wrong. Alas. Well, 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 we'll search the rest of this area just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure um, that is it for dive spots, and that will be it for this episode. Tell me there's some dive spots around, like, very random places. None around here. Nope. 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 Surprised that we never caught the cold to be honest, but uh, anyway. Yep, there we go, back to Charpos. Okay, well, we're going to call this episode to an end. I will uh, inevitably have to look up where on earth we're actually meant to be going here. Um, we'll find where we'll go uh, in order to get Waterfall, and then in the next episode, um, I'll probably have adjusted my moveset slightly, um... And yeah, we'll be in a position where we can start climbing that waterfall, heading up towards the Pokemon League. But So sorry for a, a bit of a hot potch episode where we didn't really get to do much, but um, yeah, no idea what the waterfall is, we'll have to find it. But hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you will join me on the next.